Here, we, in this video, we are going to uh, see the stack container in C++ standard library, template library, standard template library. So, in the previous classes, we have seen about the vectors, arrays. Uh, now, we are going to see the stack implementation. So, already we have, we know the operations of stack. So, uh, it follows the lifold, that is last in, first out method. You can always uh, insert the value using the pointer top. And you can always pop using the pointer top. You can uh, only, from one side only, you can insert or delete the values in the stack. So, these are all the operations which you have already seen in the stack. So, uh, how you can declare a stack? Using this syntax, stack, object type. Object type is nothing but whether it is an integer or a floating point or a string like that. Then you have to give a name for this stack. Then using this name, you can uh, execute these op member functions with a dot operator. So, that is stack name dot push, stack name dot pop and so on. So, push is used to insert the element in the stack and it will be always pushed at the top of the stack. And pop removes an element from the top of the stack. And top, this returns the topmost element of the stack. Using this, you can see the topmost element. And size, at any point of time, what is the number of elements in the stack, this will return. Then empty, uh, when uh, before when you are popping, you, have, you must have some values in the stack. So in this case, you can use empty to check if the stack is empty or not. If not only, you can make it to pop. Then swap. Uh, uh, when there are two stacks which are of the same type and same number of elements, the swap will help you to uh, swap the stack. Now we will see the implementation of the stack using C++. So here you have to include the file stack. Uh, now, uh, so here in the main pro main program, uh, you can declare it like this stack. This is what the syntax we have seen in the PowerPoint stack. Then you have to mention the type of the stack. And then here we have used two stacks. One is yes and another one is yes two. Then in yes, we are pushing two values. First, push is two. So two is pushed and then three is pushed. Now, uh, we are just printing by using the size operator. So here, what we are going to see in this uh, program is push, pop, swap, empty, top, and size functions, member functions. So here, we uh, after we push, uh, we execute the statement, yes, dot size. It will return, naturally, it will return two values because we have pushed it two. Then the topmost element will be three because after two, three is pushed. So three is now at the top. So that will be returned. Then we execute the display stock. Whatever is pushed into the whatever, what is the current value of the stock that we would like to see. So we are executing the function display stock, which we have written here. Display stock. So inside uh, the parameter is also a stack type. So that also we have declared here. And we assign it to a temporary variable where that is also a stack type, that is ST1. With this, we assign the passing parameters. Now, while till stack, each time since we are going to pop that value, so we check for empty. If it is not empty, only you can pop. So that we check for each time, we will check. And then it prints the top of the pointer. First, it prints the top of the pointer, then pop it. Then again, it checks whether it is empty or not. If not empty, now the next will be the, the next element will be the top pointer. So that will be print, printed out and so on till the end of the uh, stack. Then here now deleting the uh, stack. Uh, sorry, now push, pushing more element. Yeah. Now we push more element. Uh, 20 and 40 after pushing again we display the values now the elements in the stack is this so on the top element we are after pushing what will be the topmost element it will be again it will be 40 so that will be printed out now we push some more values in the next stack s2 because we have declared two stacks so far we have done the operations with here yes then now we are doing s2 with the, uh, the operation is carried over on s2 so we push four elements. 
So first we push 100, so that goes down, then 200, 300, 400. Now the topmost element will be the 400. And we uh, execute the, <coughs> these operations. Here, uh, first we print the value of uh, S, display star, and then we print the value in S2. Then we execute the swap statement. So S dot swap to. After execution of this statement, yes, uh, the values in S2 go to S and values in S go to S2. So that's what here we are saying. After swapping this, uh, elements are displayed. Now we'll see this uh, by executing how this program behaves. Now I execute this statement, compiling. Now I execute. Now if you see this, so first element in the stack is 2. The top element is 3. So this will be the display of S. And then we are pushing more elements. So 20 and 30. So 2 is already there, 3 is already there. On that 20 is pushed and 40. So now 40 is the topmost element. The elements in the stack, so number of elements it is give size by giving the S dot size. So size element returns the number of elements, which is starting but 4. And the top element is 40. Now, before swapping, the elements in the stacks are here. Uh, S consists of this and S2 consists of this. After swapping, the element in S, S is this and S2 is this. After swapping, S becomes the values. It goes to S and S2 will consist of the values of S.